Okay, guys, we've had a good laugh on the last two stealth camps, but tonight we're going to get back into some serious urban stealth camping. Oh, yes, you know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys, Saturday night, 7.30 and I'm looking at doing a stealth camp right behind a police station. There's been a few people telling me to come here. Um, they were talking about some bushes over the road, but I don't want to camp over the road in the bushes. I want to get right behind the police station, as close to it as I can get. You know the score guys on the Blot Outdoor Show, it's going to be more of the same guys. I'm going to be talking loads of shite, we've got loads of cans to drink, Waski, so stick around for the world famous Waski with you. I've got some nice food to cook, you better believe I have. I'm just making sure the coast is clear here you guys, before I make it out on the main road. This is the town where I'm from, Sayham, I live in Sunderland but I'm from Sayham. And I don't want to get recognised of anyone. And it's just going to blow the cover straight away if anyone spots us going in to the stealth camping spot. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Okay then, guys. I will bring you back when we're a little bit closer to the cop shop. <laughs> oh. Okay then folks, the police station is just around the corner here. So when I'm walking past, I'm going to just keep the camera pointing ahead. I don't want to bring any attention to myself. Obviously, the cops don't like your video on around their workplace. If you know what I'm talking about guys. So here we go. We'll just cut straight through without a care in the world. And then we're going to try and get round the back. Hopefully we can get a good spot for the old tent. No time for mucking around guys. It's only gonna take one of them to come out wondering what I'm up to. And that's this camp buggered. So that's the bushes, that's where people were telling us to camp. Here's the police station, obviously guys, I've just walked past it. And we're looking to get Round the back, a few cars passing by. Hopefully, I'm not recognised by anyone. That's the police car park down there. We're looking at getting round the back of the wall. Just letting these cars pass. There's another one coming behind us before we make our way down. One more coming. I'm just going to stand here 
and pretend I'm on my phone, guys. Give us a minute. That's it. Away. Sorry for the language. Oh. Ah. Ow. And that also. Ah. Oh God. I am some bear grills. Ah. Oh well, that should be entertaining. Nearly fell again. What a clumsy bugger, eh? Right. That wasn't the most stealthiest of approaches yet. But it'll ding dang do for this man, Dingo. Okay, then, guys. I'll give you a quick look. Commanding goes. I tell you what, I think I've landed on my feet here. This will do. I'll get the tent down there. I can set my seat up and lean against the wall. I think. There's a public fat there. Uh, sorry guys, a public pathway over there. But I mean, it's gonna be dark in a couple of hours. So I've got my green tent, it'll be down there. I'll get over here. Yeah? So when I'm sitting here like this, nobody walking by should be able to see us. Champion, champion, I'm happy with this. Okay then guys, I will bring you legends back in a minute when I've gotten my bag off and I've caught my breath. So that's the tent up, guys. I know I was telling you there's a public footpath over there. But just here, just there, you've got a footpath and then a fairly busy road. <clears throat> oh. Let's have a quick look. Oh, sharp bays. show you how close I am to the road guys oh, then. let's get back down I think it's time to crack open a can dingo that's the plan dingo man dingo was <laughs> you better believe it is <coughs> Obviously, I'm talking quiet. <coughs> I'm going to have to talk quiet. If one of the officers <coughs> finishes his shift and comes back out with his car, 
and I'm sitting there talking shite too loud well they're gonna come straight around aren't they and I'm gonna get moved on okay then guys I'm gonna get all my bits and pieces set up get my seat put down here I'll bring you back very soon and I'll show you everything I've got to eat drink you know what I'm talking about Cheers, Mandingos. Nice can of Jack Daniels and Coke. Sorry about talking quiet. <clears throat> You're going to have to turn your TVs up, I think. Obviously, the police station car park is just behind that wall. And then you've got a path just there. And when I wasn't recording, there's been a few people walking by. I've got everything set up now. Me tents up, all me gears laid out. I just fancied a nice candingo. Oh, very nice. Well, before I show you, all me shit and I'm sitting chilling having this can or might as well answer a little question and I've had this quite a few times over well the last 12 month really since my channel started doing well somebody's walking up anyway I people keep asking us Mandingo are you camp sir up is it fake you know have you got things arranged with land owners or, or the managers of the properties <laughs> honestly I know it's only a, a tiny small amount of people that's asking these questions but it's ridiculous isn't it of course it's not set up I mean nearly every video there's always somebody saying Here's an example. It was the last video I did when I stealth camped on the grounds of the Just Eight building. Somebody was saying, that's all set up this. You must have had permission, man dingo, to camp, you know, in the grounds of the Just Eight building. <laughs> 
see what I mean? That must mean I've getting the permission, I've getting the permission of some copper to come here. Or when I camp next to McDonald's drive through, I must have got permission of Ronald McDonald. You know, it's um you're always gonna get people asking questions like that. People, some people are saying, oh, it's, it, it's staged, it doesn't seem real. No, because I'm having a laugh, aren't I? I'm having a laugh and a good time. And I'm talking shite about the Uncle Bensky rice and I'm doing the Waski with you. Where most stealth campers don't do all the daftness to the, like what I do. But I'm going to show you guys, it's all real. As I'm sitting here tonight, you know, someone could walk past there and spot me and they could think, wait, what's that weirdo doing down there? All I've got to do is go back down the road, go in the cop shop and tell the police that I'm here. Or, you know, I could get drunk and start talking too loud. Ah, midgey. And a copper could hear us. So, yeah, you're always going to get people saying it's fake and this, that and the other. To be honest, guys, it's water off a duck's back to me. I get a lot worse comments than that every video up. And I think it just comes with the... It comes with the growth of the channel, doesn't it? The bigger the channel's going to get, the more people comment. And that always leaves the door open to the odd prick. If you know what I'm talking about, man, goes. But all you guys, you're a bunch of legends. And you know what I'm talking about. And you know it makes total sense. Okay then, guys. Ah, I'm going to finish the rest of this can off. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to show you all me shit. <laughs> Mice. Okay folks, time to show you my setup for tonight. Same as usual, manding goes. File mat down, berg house, sleeping pad, two season sleeping bag, pillar. I've got the old Baghdad down the bottom. I've got some warm clothes for later in my hat and gloves in case I need them. Here we go, this is the bit everyone wants to see for my main mail later on I've got these from Iceland salt and pepper mini chicken fillets with sweet chilli sauce sounds absolutely lovely jubbly with that I have had some rice dropped off from my good friend Uncle Bensky Bates International Playboy Bunny Bar Insurance British gas price are far too high in lifetime achievement what to the rich and famous after party people in the house love shark baby shark attack Mandingos, oh yeah, you not make sense. Okay, then that's my main meal covered salt and pepper, mini chicken fillets, spicy chili lysicles for snackaroonies. I've got some Kruger chili biltong, <laughs> chili lice, salt and pepper, them. Chili Gruger Piltong, my arse is going to be like a blood orange in Z Morgan. I've got a chicken and mushroom video nasty. The usual guys, some Italian cheese and meats. I've got these again, I had them last week, they're really nice. From Aldi, barbecue pork bites. They've got like barbecue sauce inside, they're really tasty. Also got some jammy Father Dougals, you better believe I have. Is that all my snacks covered? I've got some water there, guys. A couple of Jürgen Cloffies. I think that's all my food covered. It is. Right, drinks. I've already had one already, but I've still got four Candingos left of Jack Daniels and Coke. 
Oh, yes. I haven't had them for a while and they're very nice. I've got a lovely bottle of red wine. Just a little one. That's from Aldi's as well. I'll have that later on. And I've got a little bottle of Crag and Moor Spearside Single Malt Scotch Waski. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to doing a world famous Waski with you later on. That's been kindly given to me from a legend by the name of Robert Murchie Hume. Cheers, Robert, my man friend. Very much appreciated. Well, guys, I think I've covered everything. You better believe I have. Now it's time to crack open a candingo. Oh, yes. Oh. You get a right thirst on talking shite. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll bring you back very soon. Just chilling, guys. Just chilling. Enjoying a few of these barbecue pork bites. A nice kind of Jack Daniels and pork. Mm. Still just sitting in my t-shirt. It's not cold. The temperature has dropped a little bit. So I think in about half an hour I'll put my down jacket on. I'll stay warm before you get cold. You know it makes sense. Well man ding was. Might as well answer another little question. <laughs> People keep asking us, and it's down to me, it's my fault. Mandingo, where the hell is the new merch shop that you were talking about weeks and weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, I know. It was definitely more than a month ago. When I mentioned I was going to drop all the prices on my merchandise, you know, t shirts, hoodies, sweaters. Um, what I've been doing is the reason it's took so long. I've gotten, I've teamed up with a completely new, different merch company than what I was with before been with Teespring which you know they've done a good job everyone said that the the items of clothing from Teespring have been good quality but the prices are pretty high from Teespring like I say I've said this before when I chose them I didn't have a clue what I was doing 
and I noticed that was like the main company that other YouTubers used. So what I've done now is guys, I've stayed local. I found a local company that actually based right next to the Stadium of Light, the home of the world famous giant Sunderland AFC. You better believe it, man, Dingo's. Yeah, they're called merchbitch.com. Ah. And they've been absolutely fantastic. They've been setting us up a whole new website with all the, the items of clothing. And I saw, yeah, and there's definitely going to be a very good price drop from the prices I had on Teespring. So I am really excited to see Mandingos that the new merch shop will be open in the next few days. So, pardoning, what I'll do is, guys, I'll let you know very soon. Keep your eyes open in the YouTube community during the week. Oh, very gassy, this. And I will let you legends know straight away, as soon as the new merch shop is open, I'll let you know. And then you can get your, your Blot Outdoor Show t shirts and hoodies and sweaters and whatever it is you want. It's getting that time of year as well now where Christmas is just around the corner. So, I, that's good news. Fantastic news. So, there you go, man, Dingoes. That's that. Question answered. Hmm. I'm going to enjoy this snapper Rooney. I'll bring you back very soon hmm. when I'm having another candy go up and we're talking some more shit. Oh, yeah. Err, matron. Err. Time for a little chess warmer. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. The 
calm bait. Nice bit chili Kruger. Bill Cosby. I mean, Bill Tong. You don't want Bill Cosby in your mouth, do you? <laughs> oh, matron. Mm. Wow. Mm. A bit chilly biltong and a nice spear side single malt waski. The perfect combination. Kind of wacked man dingoes. Mm. Well, might as well talk a little bit more shite, guys. been a few people asking us about my food reviews nothing negative everything positive I know everyone was enjoying the low star food reviews And the last two I've done, they've been like, not low star ones, just random nice ones, you know. Hmm. Oh, that tastes lovely, mixed together. So people have been asking us, Am I gonna do any more of the low star ones? Because they were really enjoying it. <laughs> well, I was really enjoying it as well. So don't worry, man, dingoes. There's gonna be loads, loads more of the low star ones. Just, um, I like to try and mix things up, keep things, keep things fresh, as they say in the Dudonski. Just like my camping videos, you know, sometimes I'm wild camping or stealth camping and I'm always in a different place every time. Sometimes it's a little bit more serious like this one or sometimes it's a bit stupid like the last two camping videos I've done where it's all good fun. Sometimes I'm in the Lake District with Mick, with the two Chris's, with Messi the hiking dog or by myself or with Mrs. Blot on the she's been joining me in the foodie videos yeah so I'm trying to do with the foodie videos the same as what I do with the camping videos just keeping things fresh I don't want to be doing the same thing every week you know so yeah the next few weeks I might do some more food reviews from the so-called nicer ones and like I've said in the previous video, um, then I might start and do some, you know, when you've got the burger vans or the food vans and the park up on the side of a motorway or in like an industrial estate. I think that would be a good idea to review some of them. You know, you might get some surprises. You might get some cracking food just from a little burger van. But yeah, then after that, I'll go back to the lower star stuff. Because that seemed to be going down really well. So I, there you go guys. I will definitely be doing more of the lower star food reviews. I'll keep changing it all the time. Keep, th keep things fresh. You know, I don't want things to go stale. Just doing the same thing every week. You know what I'm talking about, man, goes, And you not make total sense. Well, that's our question answered. I'm going to finish the rest of my Bill Cosby. I keep saying that. Bill Tong. <laughs> and I think very soon we will do the world famous Blot Outdoor Show 
Waski will be one. Oh yes. You better believe oil. Rice. Yes, Mandingos, you know what time it is, waski time. And this is what we've got this week. Crag and Moor, Spearside, Single Malt Scotch Waski. Kindly given to me from Robert Hume. Cheers, Robert, my man friend. Robert's actually got his own YouTube channel called Murchies Mountains. Check it out guys if you want to see some serious hiking and wild camping in the wilderness of Scotland. Check Robert's channel out. I will leave a link to his channel in the description of this video. Oh yes, you better believe I will. Here we go guys. Oh that smells nice. Let's get this popped in. The old famous cub dingo. Man dingoes. Get the old big aroni in it. Oh, straight away, I'm getting like a like a floral smell, like fresh here. A little bit fruity, just a little bit. Yeah, definitely. A floral thing going on guys you better believe it that's enough of the sniffing let's get on with it tearson right mm. quite smooth creamy down the throat uh -oh. Hmm. Very nutty, like walnuts, chestnuts. And even almonds, yeah. If you like nuts in your mouth, oh matron. No, seriously guys, if you like like a nutty taste, this one could be the one for you. Mandingos. Mm. It's quite fresh. It's not harsh at all. Mm. Yeah, now I'm getting like a fruity thing coming through, guys. Ah, maybe some like mixed berries oh, yeah. I a 
it's not bad at all. I wouldn't say it's one of the greatest whiskies I've ever I've ever had. It's not like it's not totally like making us go, wow, this is fantastic. But at the same time, it's not terrible, you know? It's it's very decent indeed. Mm -hmm. Very nutty with some fruity elements, mixed berries I would say, there's nothing, there's no exact fruit taste standing out, so I'll go with the, the old mixed berries one guys, but definitely some different flavour, flavours of nuts, yeah, walnuts, definitely some almonds in there, down the hatch. Mmm. Ah, oh, oh yeah. I tell you what, that's certainly warmed the old chest up as it's just starting to get a little bit chilly now. But there you go, guys. Crag and Moor, 12 year old Spearside Waski. Very, very nice indeed. I've really enjoyed that. I tell you what, I'm going to give that. A decent and I mean a decent because it was good it didn't blow me mind but it was it was very enjoyable and I would definitely buy that you know I would definitely buy a bottle of that in the future right anyway time for the score I'm gonna give it very steady and a very decent 7.7 7 out of 10 dingo man dingoes Oh, yes, you better believe I am. Well, guys, that's the end of this week's Waski with you. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious stealth camping. Right. Err. Right guys, turn that down. That's the lovely chickens cooked. Oh yes. Hmm. Looks like the onions and the peppers are stuck to the bottom of the old pan sexual. The old pan sexual. Pan sexual. <laughs> oh. oh, good. There you go. That's that. Now, time to get the old Annika rice popped in. 
Yes. Okay then folks, the rice is almost done. Let's add a little bit sweet chili sauce. That came with the chicken, but we will put on the old licicles. Oh yes, this is gonna be a meal fit. For a mandingo. Oh yes, mandingos. Look at that. Beautiful meal. Salt and pepper chicken with spicy chili licicles with sweet chilli sauce on. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh yes. Mm. Tell you what, that is absolutely tremendous. Mm. And that's just from Iceland. Honestly, guys, trust us. You don't have to buy them fancy camping meals. Where you're spending an absolute fortune. You know... I've seen loads of YouTubers with them tiny little camp meals. Oh, look at this. I've paid £8 for a, a little spaghetti bolognese that doesn't even fill a coffee cup. <laughs> this is what you want, guys. A pot of meal. You know it makes sense. Yes, I know them camping meals are a bit lighter. But they're a bit lighter and they're also a bit shiter. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't mind carrying a little bit more weight. Hmm. And this is what you're going to get, guys. Look at that man, a thing of beauty. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Well guys, you know what's coming now. I'm gonna take this chance. While I've got your attention and while I'm sitting Chomping on this beautiful food to see a massive thank you to all you absolute legends mm. all you legends who have supported my little channel this last week aren't you guys I'm going to say the same thing, yeah, I see every week. You're so kind. You don't have to do it 
and just the fact that you do honestly I am absolutely over the moon mm. even if you just give us a thumbs up leave us a comment even just watching my videos all you legends watching this video now thank you so much that's enough for me I am chuffed to bits that people are even just bothering to watch my little dodgy shitty videos but if you have gone out your way you legends you know who you are if you've gone out your way and you bought me a coffee Waski, if you've bought me a coffee, this one's for you, guys. Honestly, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it more than anything in the world. Right, there's your names down there and down there, Mandingos. Mm, I wish I could sit and share this meal with you now. It's probably the best chamomile I've made so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nearly time as well to jump in the sleeping bag because it's just after two o'clock in Z Morgan. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to finish munching on this. I'll bring it back soon one more time thank you you absolute bunch of legends for supporting my little channel i really do appreciate it i'm on anything in the world bicycles yes you better believe it you know makes sense oh yeah Okay then Mandingos, it's 25 past 2 in the morning, I'm absolutely knackered, my belly's full because I've just had a lovely meal, <sighs> well it's time to get some sleep guys, I don't know what time I'm going to get up, I think I'll set my alarm for like 8 o'clock, something like that. I haven't been setting my alarm lately and I've been waking up too late. Nine o'clock and ten o'clock. That's no good for stealth camping. Anyway, I will see you legends. First thing in the morning, a coffee time and biscuit time. What kind of biscuits have I got again? Father Dougal's. Jammy Father Dougal's. <laughs> see in the morning, guys. You better believe I will. Ricicles. Good morning, man, dingoes. 20 past nine. It's red hot in here. I've just opened the, the door a bit there. Get some air in. Person for a slash Gordon. I haven't worked out yet whether I'm rough or not. <laughs> I can hear people walking past outside. Anyway, I'm going to get a quick pee, bring you back in a second.
just having water instead of a cup of coffee. I was boiling hot with the sun shining down the tent. <sighs> Felt a little bit dizzy, so I've just been sitting here in the shade, enjoying my water. <sighs> and I feel a little bit better already. The old teddy bear's arm's sticking out, so I'm in trouble deep. I think I'm gonna have to go for a Papa Don't Preach, if you know what I'm talking about, man, Dingoes. Okay then, I'll bring you Legends back soon when I've got all my gear packed away and we're ready to go to Dodge City. So there we go, folks. All packed up. You can see where I've had the tent. Bin Diesel with all of my shite. Baghdad ready to put on me back. That's where we're going to go. Either up there or a little bit further along and up. I think that way, where I fell down on the way down. And then Oski Jalowski's back the old Van Dingo Mandingos. You know what I'm talking about. Oh well then, let's get this bag on and let's get cracking. Here we go then, guys. Sorry for the language. Uh, that's it. Here we go. Just make me way past the cop shop now. Just a two minute walk, and I'll be back to the old John Claude Van Sexual. So that's it, my Van Sexuals. That's the end of this week's stealth camping video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time as usual. If you have enjoyed it, guys, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I do read everyone, and I'll try and get back to as many people as possible. And if it's not too much trouble, tell people about the Blood Outdoor Show. Try and get this channel really going guys. If you're just watching and you haven't subbed, hit that subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you a penny. And in a few weeks time, if you think I'm a dickhead, you can always unsubscribe. You better believe it. That's it then guys. I will see you next week on another Foodie Friday video. And next Sunday, where I'll be back out stealth camping. You know it makes sense. Rights. Oh. Air Mason.